all get angry sometimes. It's part of being human. Okay? Anybody like getting angry? Raise your hand. Honestly, do you like getting angry? Anybody? Some people raise their hand sometimes. Maybe. Okay, good, good, good. One person thinks yes. Sometimes we feel kind of strong and empowered when we get angry. Okay? But often, that, if we get that feeling, it doesn't last. And then it turns to kind of regret or guilt or like, oh, I blew it again, you know. So we don't usually feel good about our anger, at least maybe at the beginning, but, you know, we don't like it. Okay, we know the health consequences. I mean, you guys know that, I'm sure. Type A personality, more heart attacks, blood pressure problems, um, you know, marital problems, more alcohol, drugs. Uh, I don't know if there's more suicide in angry people. I don't know that. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, uh, so it, it, it has health consequences. It obviously has mental health consequences, you know, to be angry. And it doesn't solve problems. Okay. Now, caveat. Some people think that compassion is like a limp Hokkaido eggplant. Anybody know Hokkaido? Huh? Yeah, good. Yeah. Hokkaido is one of the most beautiful places in the world. I spend a lot of time in Japan. I've been there more than 20 times. And my favorite place is Hokkaido, where I've been maybe six times. I teach in a Saikawa University in Central, near Daisetsu San, which is the most beautiful mountain range in the world. An incredible place. And for a few months a year, because the rest of the time it's worse than Alaska, you know, for a few months of the year, they grow incredible vegetables because the soil is so fertile. And they grow eggplant and potatoes and onions, which there's nothing like a Hokkaido onion. They're so delicious. So my analogy is a limp Hokkaido uh, eggplant. Okay? Some people think that compassion's like that. Okay? Uh, it's not. Okay? Some of the most ardent fighters for justice, okay, for the planet, for human beings, are compassionate people inside. Okay? Mother Teresa. Tough, tough, tough little lady, you know? Mahatma Gandhi, little guy. Tough, tough, tough as nails. He kicked out the British who had been there 300 years, you know, almost single handedly. I mean, he had movements, nonviolence. Incredibly strong, but inside compassion, no anger. Okay? Martin Luther King, incredible. You know? His Holiness the Dalai Lama, you know, incredible, incredible, incredible. Sometimes can be very powerful and strong. Always love and compassion inside. Okay? So we're not talking about uh, passivity. We're not talking about weakness. Sometimes it's incredible strength. And on the outside can look like wrath. Okay? Scary. Okay? Inside it's all love and compassion. So the motivation is what's so extremely important. 